What's going on, Thunderstruck Gaming? It is a bipolar band. Thank you so much to Thunder for having me on here once again. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. And I appreciate any of you who come and watch and like and comment and whatnot and just get involved. I absolutely love making YouTube videos, man. I do. And being able to upload here to a much bigger audience and have that more interaction, it's something that I enjoy and I really do appreciate. You honestly have no idea. So what I want to talk about today is... Does Modern Warfare need a rework? Short answer being yes. Long answer being yes. Okay, so I like Modern Warfare. I'm not one of them people who plays it all the time and then uploads it and complains about it. There are things that do get on my nerves. Of course there is, but on the whole, I generally like the game. That was a bum joke. And the thing is, I always see Modern Warfare, it's kind of like my wife, all right? My wife is a beautiful, amazing woman and fantastic with the kids. You look at us together, you don't think man and wife, you think owner and pet. You kind of get the looks of as if, okay, one of you made a terrible life choice. And it wasn't him. But there's other days, it kind of takes me back to when my wife was at the back end of being pregnant. And she would look at you in the morning, bloodshot eyes, and you... You did this to me. Get over here and rub my face. <laughs> okay, please don't hurt me. And that's what it's like. You know, sometimes it's great, but sometimes it's absolute hell. And the amount of times I've had a bad night on it, I've said, oh, flipping hell. And I'm British. Okay, if I say something flipping hell, that means I am angered beyond all belief in reasoning. So, there are some things that I genuinely do think are going to change to get the majority of people back on side with this game. Just because I like it, again, I know I'm in the minority on this. Although, Activision keeps saying, X amount of millions and billions of players! Yeah, right, Activision, that is not happening. As much as you want that to happen, that's not happening. So, there's the obvious things that you could do with this game which would make the game instantly better. First of all, make Ghost only work whilst you're moving. Make Dead Silence a perk. Two things makes the game instantly better but there's also some more things as well that could be done so for me we need to keep killstreaks as they are in team deathmatch but as soon as it comes to domination as soon as it comes to kill confirmed or any of the other objective based game modes you've got to switch it up to the score streak based system now i'm not a big fan of the killstreak system since the score streak system has been introduced I've always been a bigger fan of that, but in TDMs are one way it makes most sense, although I think you should get rewarded for assists and destroying equipment and stuff like that. If you add Black Ops 2 EMP grenades in this game with the amount of claymores and campers knocking about the place, oh my god, man. You could have a juggernaut with like four kills. It'd be ridiculous. I know there is a perk to turn your kill streaks into, skill, into score streaks, but that perk is stupid. That should not be a thing. That's something that should be changed straight away. So... As far as the perks goes, that needs to happen. Cold-Blooded, I think, is in a really good place, but when you when you put it in with Ghost, it's far too powerful. The whole Dead Silence not being a perk is stupid beyond all belief. And if you kind of just do them things at first, that's something that get people back on side instantly. People would be running around more, they wouldn't be worried about being you know, a sound horde all the way across the map, and it just makes for better times. Although, if you are going to put Dead Silence as a perk, I also believe that you should put Eavesdrop in as a perk, or whatever it was called in Call of Duty Ghost. Acoustic Sensor? No, that's Black Ops 4. I lose track. There's so many games and so many different names for it. Citret Pro? <laughs> no, don't go back to that. But you see what I mean? Just something in there to kind of counteract Dead Silence. That would work. As far as the maps go, there is a lot of them that need to go. This one here is at Olive's Peak. It is an absolute joke of a map. That you've got St. Petrograd, I hate. Azir Cave, I hate. Like I said, dude, this map, honestly, it makes Stonehaven look like dome. And they just need to be brought back, like, by half. You could cut these a lot of these maps in half and rotate them. You would get a great Call of Duty map if you did that, all right? It, it's just, it just seems silly to how big the maps are in this game for what should be an arcade shooter. The killstreaks need a rework. The precision airstrike and the cluster strike, probably the most two useless things in the world. Honestly, about as much use as the chocolate fire guard. And I just don't like the whole laser pointing thing where you just kind of put it in the direction. I, I get the the idea behind it to make it look cool but it just doesn't really work you need something like the lightning strike where you can bring a map out on an ipad or whatnot or even a map like in world war ii and just point out where you want to drop it because it's just so inaccurate using it 
any other way. I like the guns. I like the gun balance. I genuinely do. I think that's good. The MP7 needs to be brought back in line a little bit because it's so much stronger than everything else. But other than that, I'm actually quite happy with where the gun balance is. I don't really mind the snipers so much. And things like that don't genuinely bother me. It's just the state of the game that we've currently got right now that irks me a lot. You know, like I said, the maps, a lot of them need a rework, man. I say I just named four off the top of my head. I'd quite happily bring the gunfight maps into a 6v6 rotation. You know what I mean? It's just something needs to be done to encourage movement to encourage playing the objective and to stop having people sit in corners and then we've got to talk about the elephant in the room that is skill-based matchmaking i've always said and i will always say it that skill-based matchmaking usually works one of two ways and i genuinely believe that it kind of works itself out in the end do i think it needs to be toned down a lot yeah of course to do but if they kept it as is that's not something that bothers me too much because as far as connections go in this game I don't have a bad time of it. I think the game's fantastic from a, you know, from a working point of view. I just think it's a bit boring in comparison to World War II and Black Ops 4, which are the two other Call of Duties I'm primarily playing right now. And that's the problem with it. It's a great game. It's a sound game, functionally sound game. It could just put a glass eye to sleep sometimes, man. And that's the biggest issue. There isn't really a great deal of fun factor here unless you're somebody like me who enjoys the game already. So... Then for me, it's just some things that I think this should change. And if they kind of did that and we start building on there to make this more a rush and objective based game and more friendly to that style of play, I honestly think Modern Warfare could be one hell of a game.